Hey guys, um, uh, before we get started into the presentation, a little story. Um, I've been um, here on this stage um, three times already, and um, this place and the NOAA has a good karma for me uh, because I managed to raise an A and a B and a C round uh, for my last venture. Um, and um, so we, we managed to sell the business uh, to uh, Bertelsmann and um, some other buyers uh, for a total of uh, 25 million um, euros. Um, so now I'm trying to obviously um, replicate that and uh, be more successful than um, I've been uh, with my last venture. Um, it's Rocket. Our vision is target people, not devices. So we are a cross-device uh, technology business headquartered in uh, Berlin. Um, as you may be aware, 90% of consumers are moving uh, from one device uh, to the other uh, while doing something. On average, they have um, three devices uh, per person and about 80% of consumers are consulting various channels before making a purchase decision. Now, with that in mind, uh, we created uh, what we call a marketing graph. Um, so here on the left, you see a typical household. Uh, one household, three people. Each of the three people have uh, four devices, uh, so that makes it uh, 12 devices. And then there's another three devices linked to the household. Uh, so in total, this household has 15 devices. Now, that creates a problem for advertisers and publishers and anyone in the value chain in between who's trying to optimize uh, the advertising. So our tool is um, either a cost-saving tool or a revenue increase tool for um, either publishers um, or advertisers. And uh, we are licensing our product in a software-as-a-service model to mainly large multinational corporations that uh, plug it into their existing systems to do cross-device retargeting, or cross-device customer journey analysis, or a cross-device attribution model, uh, or any other uh, use case they may have, uh, and where they feel that uh, they need to understand who's living together in a household, and who's owning which device, um, either on the personal level or on the household level. Our database of users and devices is the backbone of our business and the key asset we are building. So um, here you see um, the development of uh, unique users or unique devices um, on the left and the right in our database. And you see that um, in 2016, uh, we had a month-on-month -month growth of um, over 140% um, of uh, devices and users in our database. The blue line at the bottom is uh, the German market. Uh, and that's where we started. Uh, but as you can see, we are already building a product in UK, France, Italy, Spain, Nordics, um, and uh, the big chunk at the top, um, that's actually uh, data we are seeing uh, from the US and from India. Which brands are we selling to? We are selling to advertisers, uh, and we are selling to publishers. Um, so uh, some of our biggest customers are um, here on this slide. It's Payback, it's Deutsche Bank, um, it's uh, Pro7 Z1, um, it's an, um, Adobe, it's uh, Siemens, um, so really large multinational brands uh, that are either um, using our product uh, for an advertising use case or for a publishing use case, uh, as I mentioned earlier. Now, you may ask yourself the question, um, how do they do it, and is that legal? Yes, it is. Um, we have uh, a, a mantra in our business. We call it privacy by design. So uh, everything we do, every product, every process um, we create um, is uh, privacy compliant. Um, we have a uh, privacy seal from an external um, certification company. Uh, we had the Berlin uh, privacy uh, officer come to our company, take a look. Uh, he walked away happy. And uh, as some of you uh, may uh, know, that uh, there will be a change in the law. So um, in uh, 2018, uh, Brussels um, will bring a new uh, privacy law to Europe uh, called GDPR. And we are already certified for this upcoming uh, change in the law. Thank you very much.